Namaste. Peace, love, and light. Welcome in, gang. Welcome to Powerhouse Tarot. I'm Energy Goddess. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> okay. So today's reading is going to be a October predictions. We're going to get the October predictions. Okay, just period. Bless. Thank you, spirit. We're going to start off with the Cosmic Dancer deck. Let's grab some messages here. Greetings to you all. I hope you all are having a wonderful uh Wherever you are. Okay, sparkle and shine. Make mistakes. I feel like in October it's gonna be okay to make mistakes. Sparkle and shine. Also. It's like some people don't realize like how important it is. So kind of like, you know, just get out there and just live. Consult your body's wisdom also is here. So, like, listen to the body's wisdom in Libra season. Ooh, connecting with earth very deeply. I hear the messages sparkling and shine. Let your light shine out to the world. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, okay? It's not that serious. I feel like people, we hold the things we should hold serious, we don't. I and mean, then the things we shouldn't take serious, we take them serious, you know? Take Shion. Honestly, assess. Be ecstatic. Oh, so they want us to honestly assess something. Be ecstatic about our situation. Feel. Honor the cycles. Oh. <laughs> They want us to honor the cycles, y'all. They want us to feel, experience. You're not a robot. It's okay to feel. And a lot of people, especially masculine energy, so definitely um, I want you tapping into how do you feel, you know? Be more aesthetic about life. Life is beautiful. Play. I can't make it up. Some of us are in this really tight, wound up energy month of October. It's really going to be winding down for many of us here. October predictions is the feels. Be a channel. Mm. Some of us are channeling, being that channel. Mm. I love it. Okay, so what do we got here? We're going to do some abundance messages. Get some October predictions. What do we need? Visualize abundance in all forms. The month of October. Okay, collective. God gave you such spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality. So hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, healthy, positive, and filled with blessings. And that is what you will experience. Positivity, faith, and optimism. When you open a doorway of positive experiences and opportunities with the positive expectations and energy, do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the faith that you are on, with the path that you are on. Keep the faith and keep going. Sometimes it gets discouraging. You have to keep the faith. That's, that's the resilience needed. Okay, strength. During the adversity. Attracted, not chasing, is the abundance message. Sparkle and shine. You already sparkle and shine. You don't have to chase anything. You already sparkle and shine. Okay. Sever vows to poverty. Honestly, assess. I feel like people still 
could be holding on. So in the month of October, I, I see some sort of release and you severing the ties with poverty for us collective. Let me read this message. Dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made, consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime. You do so, as you do so, excuse me, all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time, okay? This, it, this goes all the way down to your kids. You know, this is very important that we... Um, Honestly, assess these things and, and sever the ties with poverty. I feel like that has a lot to do with us just really getting out and playing and having a little bit of fun because it reminds us of that childlike energy. And then we get to connect back to the root, you know, uh, get in that root chakra energy of discovering where that root is, you know, so you can honestly assess to kind of get that into uh, healing. And I feel like it's in that childlike nature with, with the play card right below it. Cooperation instead of competition. What's yours is yours and no one can take it from you. There's no need to compete and there's an abundance for all. You have complete access to unlimited abundance for yourself and to share with others. With cooperative partnerships, you can accomplish anything, okay? Don't compete. Cooperate. Take a divinely guided chance. All positive changes, successful ventures involve a degree of risk. And are you ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories? As you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar, but no longer appropriate for you, you make room for the new and more meaningful opportunities. Take divinely guided chances. Okay, collective. <clears throat> see. Scrabba. Song. Tarot messages here. What's coming out for Tarot messages? Thank you, Holy Spirit. What needs to be heard for the predictions of October? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we have out the Page of Cups. Hmm. Very in interesting energy. I see some sort of good news or some good situation here happening with that, that Page of Cups first card message. This really feels like good news for some of us, for the most part. A new love or something like that. Some of you guys, month of October, new opportunity in love. <laughs> okay. Month of October, five of pentacles. We're going to clarify everything, but this is what I'm getting as they flip out. Eight of cups. I want to clarify everything, of course. This is... <clears throat> yeah. It could be somebody, though, too, walking away from situations I see in the month of October. For the most part, with these two cards. And then you could see somebody, obviously, this is somebody starting the relationship. Needing a lot of positivity, faith, a lot of play going into this field. Feeling, mm -hmm. attracting, not chasing here. I don't know. This one looks like it's just falling apart. There's a situation that it's walking away from. It's transforming. It's evolving where it needs to go. The transformation is here. Somebody could be in resistance to that, of course. But we'll 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 see. We'll see. We'll see. What else is coming out here for the collective month of October? Predictions. Six of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is strength. Month of October will definitely need our strength. Some of us need to get some rest. 
to make better decisions, to be able to tool pinnacles, need and rest to make really positive life change and choices in the month of October. I feel like this is like to make a choice of like <clears throat> getting your strength back, <clears throat> being more ecstatic, being more playful, being more cooperative with other people, also in the balance with the six of pentacles. It's like a, a, a community effort, some sort of teamwork, the cooperation of more than just one. With the pentacles, like a sharing sort of effort, eight of wands. Some sort of good news happening as well in the month of October. Mm, some of us learned them tough lessons, King of Cups. Love to with the lovers at the bottom, huh? With the lovers, what is it? With the lovers at the bottom, what are y'all? <laughs> Where are y'all? <clears throat> somebody's making better decisions. Yeah, somebody's making better decisions. Month of October prediction. Somebody's making better decisions, walking away from something. There's some sort of good news that's coming in for somebody that was waiting on some sort of success or victory. This could be concerning um, someone that you deeply cared about. For some people, I don't know. We're going to clarify it, though, for sure. Let's clarify everything here. Page of Cups here. <clears throat> Clarifying the Page of Cups. With the Temperance. Okay. Patience. I feel like in a relationship, give it a chance. Don't like rush into it. Maybe in the past, you like to like really like. I feel like in this this situation, this person, you know, um, there's gonna be a lot of equal give and take in this relationship. So for October predictions, this is like really spicy. Like, you know, give it a chance. Like, let it just blossom organically. This relationship and just kind of flow into it. Um, could be possible fire signs here messages. It doesn't have to be, but you know, I see that here. Five of Pentacles. Let's clarify the page of Cups one more time as well. The Six of Cups. Yeah, this person gives you like a really nostalgic, like childlike vibe. Like you could really, like you feel like, like almost like a kid being around this person because. It's just such good, playful vibes. Really happy, joyful times with this person is what I'm picking up here. Clarifying the Five of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. There's the Ace of Swords. Clarifying the Five of Pentacles. Somebody wasn't honest. Somebody wasn't clear about something. Clarifying the Five of Pentacles. And the wands. Somebody had to release the burden. It was just too much for somebody to bear around the situation. They have to let it go. So in the month of October, until you kind of release this burden, there's no, you know, there's the, the new beginning is there in the full, right? So you have to be able to take a risk here, is what I'm hearing in the month of October. Somebody takes a loss, but you it's like a good loss because if you don't take a take a risk in this situation, there's no reward. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like whoever this is, like, is telling you, like, the loss is needed in order for you to get more of a reward. Because in the loss, you feel like it's just a loss. But ultimately, it's more of a gain for you. There's something to gain in this. And there's a lesson here, ultimately. And I feel like you two also get to release a lot of burden that you might have had around a certain situation. Like releasing that burden. It could have been with lovers. It definitely could have been with lovers for for um this message. Somebody really loves somebody deeply. And I mean it's tough, right? A tough break happens for somebody the month of October. Um, when it comes to the lovers, the situation just kind of is over, right? <clears throat> Clarifying the Eight of Cups. <clears throat> Clarifying the Eight of 
Okay, somebody walks away. Then there's more being offered here as well. It's kind of like an outpouring actually at this point. I feel like, wow. Walk away, leave behind what no longer serves you in the Eight of Cups in the month of October. There'll be a lot of time for you to let go of certain situations, things from the past that really truly no longer serve you at this time. And it'll be really beneficial for us as well in the month of October. Because I feel like something's gonna there's gonna be like this outpouring of healing and love around us, you know, and we're we're really in a positive space, just Venus and Libra, like what? Like stop, like you know, this is the outpouring of love that we needed, you know, the divine hand, right? Offering us, you know. So I feel like we're really gonna get in touch with you know source with the most high connect spiritually okay i feel like there's going to be a deep connecting um for the divine collective okay the month of october i'm hearing and not yeah nine of pentacles this is really actually refining us getting us to the place of where we need to be this period, Six of Pentacles, clarifying the Six of Pentacles. With the Nine of Swords. Some of us definitely have a hard time balancing or kind of just keeping up. Um, a, I wouldn't even say appearances. It's more like if it's not you, then it's not. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't fake it. But at the same time, you do need to be like more mindful of how you're thinking because it really affects, you know, how that translates. Clarifying the Six of Pentacles. Like it translates like, like a stingy or a greedy or, a, you know what I'm saying? And really that's not even what you're trying to give. Like is what I'm hearing is the message. Six of Pentacles, clarifying the Six yeah see you need more teamwork that's your karma for some of you guys you could be like a little stingy selfish self-centered not meaning to be the month of october you'll definitely balance that shit the fuck out like realize parts and aspects of yourself that really needs you know, improvement if this is what you're looking for ultimately in the end because I feel like karma really comes in to teach us those tough lessons in the month of October, you know, about um how important generosity is. And I feel like, too, that's a deeply rooted issue where this, this month of October, we start to sever those vows of poverty, maybe being more generous. The month of October, hmm. And it kind of really sets it off for you. Mm. Getting them finances right, like giving back more, like, you know, wherever you see that need to give back. Mm. Mm -hmm. Two of Pentacles, clarifying the Two of Pentacles. The Emperor. Some, some of us are stuck doing the same routine over and over. I'm not going to lie. That's where the you kind of ready to make like better decisions month of october some of you guys want to change a routine or change up what it is you normally do your strategy i feel like that could be a reason why you stuck here in the two of pentacles clarifying the two of pentacles Some of it could be also self-sabotage. Like, don't, you know that saying when I used to play spades, right? They used to say, think long, think wrong. So it's like, don't stay stuck thinking about what you got to do. Kind of get out there and get going. Get some momentum going behind it. Get some action in the month of October. I'm here for some of you guys. All right. Let's clarify the strength. The hangman. Some of us, the strength is in us sitting still. Some of us can't sit still to save our lives. It's in stillness you receive a lot of clarity and understanding. That's where the messages and the details are. See, you move too fast. A lot of things are happening in your life 
pretty fast. So you have to take a moment to slow down and catch it all. You see what I'm saying? It's in everything. The messages is in everything. You see what I'm saying? So you have to slow down a little bit, get a little bit stiller. Stillness. You know? That who you are. Queen of Pentacles. Some of you guys are going to be cleaning up the house in October, sprucing it up. Just making things more vibrant, more cheerful, uh, you know, more attracting. Mmm. Clarifying the Eight of Wands. Clarifying the Eight of Wands. October predictions. Clarifying the Eight of Wands. We have out the judgment. Mmm. I feel like there's going to be cause. Somebody gets a call about their purpose. Like maybe it was your purpose to do something and you having a hard time walking in that. I feel like in the month of October, your magician will be restored. Clarifying the eight of wands. This is interesting with the magician and the <laughs> judgment. Clarifying the eight of wands. Oh, shit. This is about your wish fulfillment. Some of you guys are getting a call like, here you go. You were asking for something. Take a divinely guided chance. You was asking for something and you did it. Make a mistake, I feel like. This is something divinely guided here about this. these messages month of October. Like, like, listen, don't be afraid to make these mistakes. Don't be afraid to still continue to, to grow and experience life. Like, don't be so afraid. You know what I'm saying? Like, go about it like the same way as you've been doing it, but with no fear in your heart, like about anything. Don't be afraid to take a chance. I feel like some of y'all gonna be really abundant, like taking a, a a chance, a risk somewhere. There's a risk, an opportunity that, and there's um, in this risk, there's opportunity. Is what they keep saying. Ten of Swords is a very prosperous. It's ten of cups. It's a very prosperous time. Very abundant time. I can't make this up. Clarifying the king of cups. Very, uh, it's extremely abundant. Oh, Libra season. Balance, just balance, just flow right now. Because I know it's, it's because we're coming out of the retrograde on the second. So just flow with it. The month of October coming out of the retrograde. We've been in retrograde for like damn near like, I don't know, fucking like two, three months. Like, yo, shit was intense. Feel me? So like, yeah. Um, we was in retrograde for a minute. Like, that shit was insane. So like now we're in this Libra season. Like now the emotional intelligence is now starting to show like wherever you were, you know what I'm saying? Like, Now it's time for balance. I don't fuck what you was doing in the past. Now it's time for balance. You know, on some real shit. Like many of us gained that emotional intelligence that we needed. We had to bump our heads a little bit in the couple of years and a bit, you know ago and stuff to learn something though to grow. You know, clarifying the king of cups. We had to go through it. We had to fucking, like, not for nothing. We needed boundaries and we needed those things. We created those things in order to establish a healthy emotional intelligence and not let people walk all over us. Mm -hmm. Queen of Cups, we healed. Okay. That's what it's all about. So don't hold it so hard against yourself. Some of y'all just get so stuck and like, oh my God, get my life together. Like, yeah, and have some fun while like while you're at it. You know what I'm saying? It's about the joy. It's about the experiencing of joy. How much are you in joy? Like, yeah, like that's the big thing. Like that's going to let you know, like if you're on the right path, if you're in alignment to what you're asking for, you know, because you're always manifesting, always. Whenever you think of it, that's because you know it's yours, right? So just know you're always manifesting. All right, two of swords. 
We got the page of, of wands. I can't make this shit up. Just get happy, y'all. You know, <clears throat> what song just came to my head? That song literally just popped in my head. Like, page of wands. Like, you got to get happy. Like, month of October. I'm telling you, it's predictions in that. Like, like reprogramming the happy. Like, like because it's like you realizing, like, You've, you've been in a dream state, like, and you like, okay, so I'm the programmer of the pro, like, so now we're reprogramming this shit. Like now it's like, that's what you're like, literally programming the whole system to everything in your whole existence. Clarifying this, uh, this is what I think this is like a stalemate you have in a stalemate with this, with decision-making in the month of October. You have the two, the two of Pentacles and the two of, um swords that's just fine but i feel like the main message is like get happy though you know what i'm saying like chase all your troubles away like just get happy because you're in a really happy space page of pentacles a new job new opportunities of abundance you feel what i'm saying like clarifying two of swords see i can't make it up to you the thing is, is that you need a change in order to happen for something new to grow. So accept the tower, allow that to fall. The change needs to happen. You need a new program. Maybe you was in Windows 95. Maybe you need an upgrade. You know what I'm saying? Like, just period. So allow things to happen as they should. Because this is about your evolution the month of October. Just know that. And it's about balancing out all your energies, okay? Things you didn't know about yourself and really discovering that. Things about other people too, shit. Mother October, believe that, okay? Some of you guys' spirit will be guiding you away from certain situations. And some of us, again, back to the lover situation, will be having lovers there, okay? So there was a lot of terrible messages here. What I really, really want to do is just grab a couple of angel messages and just see what comes up, right, for the angel messages. 